50 to a 26. A lot of advantage. York win line going to York. 15 take 20 to beat dead two. He's 17 total. Tanner Thorpe, 26 up front and mathematically ineligible. <laughs> I'm getting the eagle eye, the, 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 the evil eye from Jay Gilman. Better than the gun. <laughs> Mathematically ineligible has been put on the list of things that we are no longer allowed to say. Billy Swain, Ionia, Michigan, left side, 463 the dial. Randy Shire, Jr., Toledo, Ohio, 476 in the right. This could be nasty as well. Sixteen on the starting line. What's that mean, Justin? Mathematically ineligible is Randy Shire. <laughs> and he looked again. Next pair out. Racing Jason Lynch. Heating the highest of the 60-foot timer. Catfish, right side, 485. Don Hansen, left side. Out of Palm Beach, Florida, down 484. is 25 dead, 429 total, moving on. Tom Dauber, left side, out of Medford, New Jersey. 488 the dial in. G-Dub, Gary Williams. He's uh, leading the, the unofficial burnout contest right now. Out of Bradenton, Florida, dial in 483. Taking 10. Four dead eight, taking 10. Daubers, 14 up front, dead eight. And mathematically ineligible. 12 total beats 14 up front every single time. No box final, lanes one and two. No box final, lanes one and two. No box final, lanes one and two, please. No box final, lanes one and two. Hey, real quick, while it's quiet, all you motor maniacs out there on the live chat, I'm going to explain to you what mathematically ineligible means in case you don't know. 
in honor of Jake. In honor of Jake from State Farm. Oh, and in honor of Jay Gilman. Mathematically ineligible is when the total package of one driver is better than the reaction time of the second driver. So the case in point, this last run between Tom Dauber and Gary Williams, Gary Williams was 004, dead on with an eight. He's 12 thousandths total. Tom Dauber was 14 on the reaction time and mathematically ineligible. He had no shot at winning the race from the starting line. It's just math. It's just math. It's not common core math. It's no, old school it's math. It's just real math. So there you go. My daughter's been counting those days. All right, last pair oh. going down the racetrack in round number four. Mickey Thompson, round four. Going to be Jeremy York out of Muncie, Indiana, left side. 480 the dial in. Right side, Bean Green, Gene Lampshire out of Lorraine, Ohio. Winner of the shootout, 32 car shootout Thursday night. He's on a 502 dial in. Door cars, lanes three and four, please. Door cars, round five. Platinum products, round five. The Warriors are still on the bye. Door cars, lanes three and four. Lampshire advantage and the win. 16 and 4 thou behind to be dead seven. Jeremy York needed to take one or less. He's 21, take four, and three thou under. No good. Lampshire moving on.
right, here we go. No box final. Matt O'Connell out of Moni, Illinois. 6.31 the dial in. Or Florida. It, it's Illinois. It's got to be Illinois. 79 Mustang. He's taking on Seth Phillips out of Mount Pillier, Virginia. The Mountain Road Transmissions S10. Seth's dialed in 582. Dragsters, round five, lanes one and two, please. Dragsters, round five, lanes one and two. You're double. Get up here quick. Oh my goodness. It's the worst one I've ever seen Seth Phillips have. And he gets the win light. Oh my. Matt O'Connell, 24 takes 67 to be four thou under. Seth Phillips, 85 dead three, 88 total for the win in no box. Seth Phillips picking up the win in no box, the bonus money, and uh, he's got to find the Christmas tree to hang with the box guys. I know he'll find it. We're going to move into door cars round five. We will move into door cars round five right next. Dragsters one and two, dragsters one and two. All right, here we go. Dave Davis, left side out of Toledo, Ohio. Fleet Dr. Camaro, dialed in 654. Taking on the giant killer, Bernie Vanderplug. Bernie was two total last round out of Plainville, Michigan. 67 Nova, dialed 591. up the wind light there 20 and 8 thou behind to be dead six davis is 26 getting there 87 ten thousandths in front breaks it out 87 ten thousandths had to take nothing to get it done drew buckner out of port here on michigan 85 camaro 665 the dial in taking on mark nettichime nettichime out of heartland wisconsin 83 camaro dial 643 there are 15 spots remaining in the 64 car shootout. 15 spots remain. You can't win it if you're not in it. $7,000 to win shootout. 64 cars, $250 gets you in. throws away it. eighth out under run no good Jason Jensen left side 65 Chevelle dialed in 604 taking on Matt Dennis Dennis out of Vermillion Ohio old Starfire dialed in 634 
20. This one should be on Dennis, and it is. He's four, take 13 to be dead six. 10 total, Jason Jensen's 20 ball's ineligible. Mathematically ineligible. Steve Folk, left side. Nova, grocery getter, Rock City, Illinois, he calls home. Folk race cars machine dialed in 615, taking on Gary Fleener. 79 Camaro, Fleener Racing Transmissions, level performance out of Port Clinton, Ohio, dialed in 577. Zero 5 to be 26 thou over. Fleener 32 up front and uh, finds himself triple zero 5 in front to be 15 thou over. Moving on. Jamie Tupper, JNS Collision, 73 Vega, left side, Tulsenburg, Ontario, Canada. Right side, Nasty Nick Hastings, Shelby, Ohio. FTI Mickey Thompson machine down to 616. Gonna leave first. Tupper and Hastings. Uh oh, that's not a place to be against Nasty Nick. Finish line, Nick, 15, dead nine, taking six. Tupper is five thou under, no good. Missing one dragster, we're missing one dragster. You are out next. The Single goes five red. All right, here we go. G-Dub, Gary Williams Jr., left side. FTI test vehicle, 490 the dial in, taking on David Sherbondi. Sherbondi out of La Porte, Indiana, 2015 Troxel car, dialed in 510. 26-11, Williams with the advantage. Wind line going to Williams. 11 take three to be triple zero five under. Sherbondi, 29, 15 thou under. Needed to drop the brake pedal and let him go if he wanted a shot of his wind lane coming on. This one could get good. Skinny Kenny Underwood, left side out of Delaware, Ohio. Jegs Dragster dialed in 482. 
Scotty Taylor, right side, out of Portage, Michigan. 2013 American car dialed in 452. thou over no good sorry I got distracted catfish doing a John force burnout he kept him lit to the 60 foot cone Jason Lynch cars protection plus dragster left side 488 the dial in Ken Rapaz out of Bradley Illinois KR automotive sponsor machine down in 493 Zion, Illinois, left side, 485 the dial. Scott Hornline, right side, Freeland, Michigan, 488. So here we go, hammock and horn line. Scott's in, here comes Mark. Scott with the advantage. Finish line. Scott, no good. Scott's there first by 24, breaks it out by 6 thou. Had to take 18 or less. Hammocks, 26, dead 9 for the win. This one could be nasty. Bill Swain, left side, Ionia, Michigan, 464 the dial in, Jeremy York, right side, out of Muncie, Indiana, dial 479. As far as I know, there are still 15 entries left in the 64 car shootout. 13 entries left in the 64 car shootout. Win it if you're not in it. Get yourself in that 64 car shootout. Bill Swain advantage and the win. 16 take 15 to be dead four. He's 20 total. Jeremy York 27 up front, mathematically inadequate.
contest continues. Gary Williams lays it down to 100 feet. Yeah. Like, it's not like the car's not. Gary Williams, 483 left side. Mean Green, Gene Lampshire. Out of Lorraine, Ohio, down 502. to the center line and gets behind a foul. Lampshire, 12, getting there a foul in front to be dead four. 16 total for Lampshire. Williams, 14, dead five, no good. With customer service and technical support second to none, FTI performance converters and transmissions give you the winning edge. Just ask any of our customers like 2014 IHRA Top Dragster World Champion Kevin Brannon or the 2014 IHRA Super Rod World Champion Mike Roth. We are real racers with real experience. Call us today at toll free at 866-726-8358 or visit us on the web at www.fdiperformance.com. Round five. So, so Sean Parker up here in the tower putting everybody on notice. There is a burnout contest, the first round of the shootout. Don't worry, Troy, right now I'm not going to try and win it. $400 courtesy of FTI Performance gift certificate. The best burnout of the shootout, 64 car shootout, few spots remaining. Sean Parker came up here and said everybody is on notice. He can take it to the finish line if you need him to. So if you are racing Sean Parker, shut your car off in the water box if you do not want to participate. So, so here we go. Steve Parker said, man, he's crazy. And John Parks is like, man, I got nothing to drive the rest of the weekend. <laughs> Shanene is going to flutter her hair down and do a burnout. So burnout competition, first round of the shootout. They got to scrape the track regardless. So it, let's get after it. Hey, Wanamaker, can I borrow your car? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Denny Jones did tell you you could drive his roadster. He didn't give you any any circumstance. We wouldn't play that way. No. 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 <laughs> no I'm pretty sure Denny's. He's parked with Ryden now, so he Denny, now knows. Denny is, is an elder to us, and I guarantee you, you will be out of the car before you back up. Right. I'm just saying. Yes. <laughs> Snatch you right up out of there. So first round of the shootout, 64 car shootout, just a few entries remaining. few entries remaining, 64 car shootout. There is a burnout competition on notice. So all, uh, all the burnout action will be on Motormania TV Live, MotormaniaTV.com. But our focus right now, the $100,000 bracket race. Down to, down to the round of, down to the round of 13.
So the door car is down to seven cars and the Matt Dadis carrying the bye at the round of seven. Dragsters, we are down to six entries remaining. So Matty Dadis gonna be the number one qualifier once we get the ladders printed off here down for a hundred thousand dollars. If you are not here on the property, if you did not attend, if you were on the fence about it, you are absolutely missing out. Life changing money here. A hundred grand. And a burnout competition. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we tried to split the hundred grand at a hundred cars earlier, and that would have been a the ladies in the registration probably would just leave. Here's the checkbook, sorry. Write write them yourself or something. That's right. So if you wanted the 64 car shoot out a few entries remaining, just a few, we're down to a few entries left. Yeah, that is right, Michael Beard. You need a backup girl if you are in the burnout contest. So, Sean Parker, Steve is not eligible. We cannot put Steve as the backup girl. Unless he's wearing a dress. Yeah, I, I don't know. If you want in the burnout competition, you need to be wearing uh, heels and a dress, apparently, for a backup girl. Hey, uh, I just got Jenna a message. Got Is Jenna available for uh, a price to be a backup I mean, girl? For everything has a price. Yeah.
Jenna's watching backup girls right now on YouTube. At the Funny Car Nationals. At the on Funny Motor Car Mania. Nationals. On Motor Mania. On Motor Mania right now, trying to trying to figure out how to do this. She is available. I think the bid starts at $100, right, Jake? $100 can get Jenna to be your no. backup girl no, no, in the no, burnout no. contest. No, because no, it will cost me way more than what $100 is worth. I said it starts at 100. Five spots left in the shootout. Look at that. We made a burnout contest and sold 10 spots. Just like that. Five spots left in the shootout with so, a burnout contest in round one. So the round of 13, round of 13, back to the staging lanes. Here are your pairings. On the dragster side, Gene Lampshire, Mean Green Gene. Lane choice over Mr. Hammock. Kenny Underwood, lane choice over Bill Swain. Grayson Jason Lynch, lane choice over Gary Williams. So Lampshire, lane choice over Hammock Underwood. Lane choice over Swain Lynch. Lane choice over Williams. The door cars, Matt Daddis going to the round of four door cars. Matt Daddis on the bye. Nasty Nick Hastings, lane choice over Tim McGuire's. Bernie Vanderplug, lane choice over Net Nettesheim. I, I messed it up. There it is. That's what I got. And Gary Fleener, lane choice over no box winner Seth Phillips.
So a little revision to the 64 car shootout. Five spots remaining. Everybody getting a time poke. Five spots remaining. Five spots remaining in the shootout. Everybody getting a time shot. So uh, $250 gets you in the shootout. Everybody getting a little poke down the race course. We're going drag racing. So after this round of the main event, 64 cars to the staging lanes, after this round goes down the racetrack. Bill Swain, Bill Swain, we need you for the main event. We need you now. Bill Swain, we are waiting on you. They are talking money down here, and you do not want to miss out, even though I'm not sure Underwood's even going to let them. So 64 cars, as soon as this round is completed, we're giving you a time poke down the racetrack. We have four spots remaining. Four spots, four spots remaining. Justin Wanamaker will not be able to talk tomorrow, but that's okay. He's going to run a 10-round bracket race. Call it. Tomorrow's the day. Roadster final, you and Riggins. I mean, you couldn't draw it up better than that. So 64 cars shoot out. Just a few spots remaining. Getting a time shot. 250 gets you in. Called it, snowed it, I snowed it. So just a couple spots remaining, getting a time shot down the racetrack, 250 for a chance at $8,500 value to win.
Big shout out, Diamond Engine and Machine. Big ol' Iron Man. That's a big ol' Iron Man for where I'm from. The win at Bunker Hill, shout out Aaron Dysinger, Team 60 Ball. Team No Grill. Team Caved In Front Bumper. It happens, but he got the dub. That's all that matters. But $100,000 here down to 13 race cars. Matt Dattis on the bind of the semifinal and door car side. A hundred grand. It just seems so nonchalant, but it, you need to realize it really is not. So are we going to make this burnout contest in the in the time run now, not round one? No, I, round one's, you get more people to do it in a time run. So there we go. Your burnout contest for the 64 cars is going to be in the time shot. So time shot, your burnout contest, 64 cars, find your backup girl, be ready to go. Here we go, round of 13. There's seven door cars, six dragsters. First pair out, gonna be Tim McGuire's out of Oberlin, Ohio. Monte Carlo left side, down 515. Right side's gonna be Nasty Nick Hastings out of Shelby, Ohio. FTI, Mickey Thompson Tires, Nationwide Auto Works, Pontiac T1000, down in 616. Sixteen total. McGuire's is eighteen up front and mathematically ineligible. No good. Virginia, Mountain Road Transmissions S10, Dow 582, Gary Fleener, right side of the racetrack, out of Fort Clinton, Ohio, 79 Camaro, Dow 578. One spot remaining in the 64 car shootout. One spot remaining in the 64 car shootout. More importantly, the uh, 
time run burnout contest going on. Time run for the 64 car shootout. Lanes three and four, time run. For the 64 car shootout, we need you to lanes three and four. Phillips is 31 and in charge. Sets it down, picks up the win light. 31 take 26, he's 16 thou over. Fleener missed it. 47 up front, 580 with a seven off the 578. Mark Nettesheim out of Heartland, Wisconsin, 83 Camaro left side. He's on a 642 dial in. Bernie Vanderplug, the Giant Slayer, out of Plainwell, Michigan. Local guy going deep here in the $100,000 win main event. 67 Nova right side, dial 591. Twenty-one take eight to be one safe with a zero. Thirty-one total. Bernie twenty-four up front. Five ninety-two five off the five ninety-one. Matt Dadis gonna solo his way into round number next. Nineteen eighty Oldsmobile Starfire out of Vermilion, Ohio. Now six thirty-four. Time run for the 64 car shootout, lanes three and four. Time run, 64 car shootout, lanes three and four. It's also the burnout contest. We will judge that from the tower. $400 FTI gift certificate going to the winner of the burnout contest in the time run for the 64 car shootout. Let's go 003. Runs it down 633.5 off the 634. Puts Matt Dadis down to four door cars. We've got three dragsters coming around. All right, this one could be a final round in any big money race anywhere. Gary Williams Jr., g -Dub. Keeping him lit, throwing down the gauntlet. He's got him lit to 100 feet. Backing it up in the FTI test vehicle, right side of the racetrack. g dub down 489. Catfish, left side, racing Jason Lynch, Cars Protection Plus Dragster, down 486. in a big way at the other end. He's 490 with a six off the 489 at only 131 miles an hour. Catfish moving on. Mark Hammock. Hammock out of Zion, Illinois. That was, uh, yeah, that was, that was ugly. Mark Hammock. There we go, that's better. 485 left side. Bean Green, Gene Lampshire out of Lorraine, Ohio. Right side of the racetrack, down in 502. Total, Hammock, 25 up front, mathematically inadequate. 
no good. Last pair of dragsters going down this round. Skinny Kenny Underwood. The Jegs dragster left side, down 482. Bill Swain. That car uh, won the 125 just a few weeks ago here at US 131 Motorsports Park. Different driver, same car. Going deep in the rounds here in the 100K main event. 464 the dial in for Swain. He's 16, gets behind six thou to be one safe with a zero. Bill Swain, let's go 23. Gets their six thou in front, breaks it out four thou, needs to get their two thou or less to get it done. No good. I've not been told this, the shootout's full. There's one spot remains in the 64 car shootout. One spot remains in the 64 car shootout. We have called the time run. Time run for the 64 car shootout. Lanes three and four. Time run for the 64 car shootout to lanes three and four. That will also be the FTI burnout contest. $400 FTI gift certificate going to the winner of the burnout contest in the time run for the 64 car shootout.
Ryan Rockwell and Neon Leon Robertson staging up for their time run. Robertson in the S dime, Rockwell in the Roadster. Sixty-four car shootout time runs going down the track. If you're in it and you want a time run, get it to lane three. All right, here we go. Couple competitors throwing it down. Couple door cars getting it across the starting line. Fred Squires in the Nova. Left side, Jamie Tupper. Wheel stand in Vega, right side. Oh, I, I missed it. Jamie Tupper, looking at the, the live feed, had a backup girl. He is our current leader. Jamie Tupper, current leader in the burnout contest. broken one down there, I think. Oh boy, here we go, Tim Prim, throwing down the gauntlet, he's got it on the high side. Oh, oh my, oh my. All right, new leader for Tim Prim. Complete with backup girl. That has got to be the smokiest burnout with slicks I have seen. Minix holding up for just a second. Make sure the car clears the top end. Tim Prim, the new uh, leader in the clubhouse for the burnout contest. Chad Six throwing it down. He gets a, a, a valiant effort.
Once again, we are rolling. 64 car shootout time run going down the track right now. If you're in it, you would need a time run, get it to lanes three and four. If you're in the 64 car shootout, you need a time run, get it to lanes three and four. Leader in the clubhouse of the burnout contest is still Tim Prim, the Green Barracuda. Big problems at the other end. Big problems at the other end. He kept it off the wall, made a big move down there. I do not think they made contact with anything or each other, but the car in the right lane made a huge move at the quarter mile. We're gonna check out the racetrack real quick. We've got a cone to pick up. Taking a good look at the top end of the racetrack. That Camaro made a big, big move at the other end. We're gonna be down for just a minute. We've got a broom off remnants of the cone that uh, by the quarter mile finish line that that was taken out. We'll be down for just a minute, cleaning up uh, remnants of a cone at the other end.
main event winners, main event winners, if you're still in the 100K main event, I need you to lanes one and two, please. Main event winners, if you're still in the 100K main event, I need you to lanes one and two. All right, here we go. We've got the all clear from the top end of the racetrack. I believe Jake from State Farm is gonna uh, gonna stage up the Nova right side, riding hours car in the 64 car shootout. Ken Rapaz in the dragster left side. Not a bad burnout, not a bad burnout at all. I'm not sure that it beats Tim Prims, but not a bad one. He's 21 red, 588-117. Once again, if you're still in the main event, main event round seven, need you to lanes one and two. Main event round seven, need you to lanes one and two. Two spots remaining in the shootout. If you uh, if you're not in it, you you can't win it if you're not in it. Go see Miss Jackie. Get yourself in it. Join the burnout contest. Get you a time run. So there are two spots remain in the 64 car shootout. Two spots. Go see Miss Jackie. Get yourself in this 64 car shootout. $7,000 to win.
got a competitor in the burnout contest. There's not near enough smoke. Tim Prim still on top, leader in the clubhouse. Scotty Taylor throws his hat in the ring. AJ Buchanan's back here waiting for him to get backed up. Tim's was smokier, Scotty's was longer by a lot. Scotty definitely a contender. Watching on the chat room, uh, your votes do count for this burnout contest. Your votes do count for the burnout contest if you're uh, watching live on Motormania TV. Definitely in the lead. Yeah. Oh man, Sean Parker, leader in the clubhouse, complete with backup girl. Backup girl has left the building. She checked out. That was a like 330 foot sprint for her. Sean Parker, leader in the burnout contest. They, they've, he's backed up so far, they've cooled right off. They're fine. After all that, he goes double up.
Looks like the unofficial vote from the uh, Motor Maniacs. Two men live on the live feed is uh, with the tower. Sean Parker is the clear leader. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, wow. That was close. That is really close. Caleb Ellison in Mikey Bloomfield's dragster. <laughs> I'm not sure. Caleb's only sat in that car like twice. I don't think he's ever backed up an eighth of a mile, but he's trying it right now. My, oh my, Caleb Ellison giving it a shot. And uh, he's definitely a contender. Oh, yeah, I, we got it. We've, uh, the judges have conferred. Um, valiant effort, Caleb Ellison. Valiant effort, my friend. Uh, Parker's still in the lead, though. He had a backup girl, and he was lit past 3.30. There are still two remaining spots in the 64 car shootout. Two remaining spots in the 64 car shootout. Get yourself in for the 64 car shootout, $7,000 to win, plus an entry into the SFG 500. $250 lets you play. You get a time run. There's still a few cars left in the staging lanes. Also, main event round seven. If you're not there, I need you now, please. Main event round seven. If you're not there, I need you now, please. All right, just got word from the man himself. Kyle Riley said the shootout is full, plus I've got one alternate. So uh, if you are on your way to Miss Jackie, go ahead and turn back around. It's okay to get in the cooler now. The shootout is full. Thank you so much for participating. Not only in the shootout, but the burnout contest as well. Triple zero one red, four seventy one three hundred and forty five mile hour. Randy Shire showing up. He uh, he's got him lit to about sixty foot. Comes up a little short. I gotta agree, John Victorino, honorable mention for Caleb Ellison. I, I, I'm impressed, the kid sat in that car like twice. And uh, he, he, he hung him out there for quite a while. But yeah, looking at the chat room, the bleacher vote is still uh, Sean Parker. Not seen anybody compete with that yet, but we still got a, quite a few cars in the staging lanes. Riggins is trying to take out the leaf blower. Riggins in his first burnout in a roadster. He uh, he tried taking out the leaf blower, but he got it straightened back around. Jenna just said almost hodged it right there. Uh, yes, he did. Oh, oh, oh uh, <laughs> so 
on Steve Riggins' post about getting to drive this roadster down here left side, like literally 30 seconds before the burnout, Jenna told him not to hodge it. Well, he hodged it up in a big way. Riggins in the buggy. Let's go 001, 578, and 117. throwing it down. He cuts it off a little early, though. All right, Sean Parker, still the leader in the clubhouse. Caleb Ellison has an honorable mention. Tim Prim and Scotty Taylor, both of you. Man, I was impressed, but uh, Sean Parker, I'm not sure how much he was spraying on the burnout, but he emptied the jug.
tire shine how about, on, the, on the tires. How about that, Witherow? How'd you like that? That's your Val Springs there, sir. Witherow shakes his head as uh, Jeff stops past the 660-foot mark to back up. Is there a new leader of the clubhouse? Hey, Stoney, if he's going to win, you got to back him up, bud. There's an alternate. Chris Stein, Chris Stein, Chris Stein, Chris Stein, you are in. Bring it to the staging lanes. Chris Stein, Womp, Chris Stein, you are in. Bring it to the staging lanes. We still have one entry, one entry remaining. A couple of them dropped out. Chris Stein, you are in. Oh, he's already in the staging lanes. Thanks, Chris Stein. You are in, sir. My, oh, my. I think we, I don't know. Jeff, Sarah, and Sean Parker. Hey, how about this? I don't know. Oh, hold on, hold on. I got an idea. Round number God, one is a tiebreaker. I know, I know Sean Parker will do it. I'm not sure whether he'll let Sarah do it twice. Oh, my. Uh, chat bleachers are saying no leader change. And Victorino says we might need a replay. That was, that was really good. I wish, and I know it's time runs, but I wish all members were going to we did the same thing, 005, 450, 850. He, Wallen thought about it and he says, nah, we better save it. Iz, Izzy's, uh, Izzy's getting a little tired. She needs a rebuild soon. Scruggs definitely carried it out a little further than he had in the junior dragster. But uh, still, still not, still not up to the standard that Sean Parker and Jeff Sarah set. So we had one spot, one spot open up in the 64 car shootout. Chris Stein is now in, and we had one spot open up in the 64 car shootout. All right, shootout is full again. Shootout is full. Stein wouldn't do it because he'd probably hang the rods out and he stops at the mile an hour cone to back up. <laughs> Stein is just, he's had a rough weekend. He said, let's have some fun. Let's party. Oh, yeah. I, I, I still don't think that it's a, a contention for the leader. Impressive nonetheless. But uh, Jeff, Sarah, and Sean Parker, I think they still, uh, <laughs> I think they still got the handle on this thing. I think Sean Parker's got the Got the advantage with a backup girl. He definitely had the backup girl. He went all in for this burnout contest.
the ground. Oh, that, that's a new Gets leader. 330. That's got to be. Oh, man. He went past the 330, still in the throttle. And oh. he, he was smart. Did you see him? He was over out of the groove. Yeah, he was, he was over cheap. out of the groove. That's T-Rock. Yeah, Troy Williams Jr. just lighting him up. He put it over out of the groove and said, watch this, kids. Oh, my. Chat room bleachers, what do you guys think? Let me know, T-Rock in the right lane. That, that was impressive. some door car fans in the chat room that was impressive that wasn't just the stay in play you know sit there on the line lock forever and, and just completely blistered the tires that was lit almost 300 foot all right so all you guys over on the wall how about lucas walker to win show of hands who's got that all right a couple of you how many oh, of there's you? a few more how about sean parker with a backup girl who won that Sean oh, Parker, yeah. Sean Parker. I can hear that right now. Uh, how about a round of applause for all these guys? Jeff, Sarah, Sean Parker, all of them. Having some fun out here on the night of $100,000. Sean Parker, you can come and get your gift certificate, sir. Bring them up. We will give you your FTI gift certificate. Thank you, FTI. That was a good time right there. But how about... Trying to steal the show with their own. Oh yeah. yeah I mean, I mean, that's, they said, hold that's on. Stuff. Let's keep that in house. We'll keep the we'll keep the gift certificate in house. Let's not give that out. Sean Parker and Shanene went in the burnout contest in the time run for the 64 car shootout. They're all just lucky my corner wouldn't turn me loose. Or or yeah, no, I'm pretty sure I'm just the lucky one there. I get drug out of that car faster than I ever got in it. So oh, Sean that's, Parker, that's a an fact. honorable mention to Jeff Sarah, Troy Williams Jr., Lucas Walker. Caleb Ellison. And Caleb Ellison. And hey, he's already here. He knew he oh, won man. it. He knew it. He, knew he, he was he on his it. way up before so, we even Sean, called it. I, yeah. So how, do you know how close you were to losing that? Real close. Je I'm, Times. Jenny Zednick probably saved that for you because if not identical, Troy Williams Jr. and... Jeff Sarah went just as far, I think. It was close. It was really close. I was just wondering where she was. She said she was going to be down there. I didn't know what? where she was. Well, whenever you go 600 feet, it's a long run. So how much of the hose did you use? None. None. That's all motor. There you go, your burnout competition winner. We almost had a tie and had to do it again in round one, but we, we'll save it. Oh, man, that was a good time. Thank you guys for participating. Thank you to the, uh, the Motor Maniacs on the live chat. Uh, looking through the votes, I, Lucas Walker has a few votes, but uh, Parker picking up the win and the $400 FTI gift certificate. So, unfortunate turn of events. Chris Koslick's dog had to go to the emergency vet, so we have one more spot open in the shootout. One more spot open in the shootout. It's a weird turn of events, and we hope his dog is A-OK. -okay. Yeah, we need dog updates. Let us know how the dog's doing. 
but one more spot just opened up in the shootout if we have an alternate. We will fill it. You hurry up. You might even sneak in a time run. I don't know. The guys aren't in the car yet. So we have one spot. If you want to bring cash to the staging lanes just to make sure you get it, that's fine. We'll take it to Miss Jackie. Here we go. We will give Steve Riggins the honorable mention in the burnout contest. So Steve hopped in uh, Denny Jones's Roadster, never driven in his life. He's sitting in the burnout box, and I walk up and say, I want you to go out there and hit the pace car. He took it a little literally and almost hit the leaf blower and the divider on the starting line. But that's all right. He, let's go 001. I told him he'd forget about it once he's in the pre-stage beam. But more importantly, we're down to a $100,000 quarterfinal round. Back over to Mr. Wanamaker. Hey, does, does, I mean, does the wife want to announce? She can do it too. We're gonna have a whole family. I don't think she'll. Whole I don't think she deal. would enjoy that. All right, here we go. Round of seven cars: four door cars, three dragsters. Here we go, four door cars, three dragsters. Seth Phillips, left side, Mountain Road Transmissions, S10, Dalt 583, Nasty Nick Hastings. Getting down to four cars last night in the 50K. He's in at seven cars here tonight. They don't call him nasty for nothing. Pontiac T1000 right side, had a 616 painted on that thing all day long. Seven triple zero two under and moving on. Mark Nettesheim, left side in the Camaro, down 642. Matt Dadis, 1980 Old Starfire, right side out of Vermilion, Ohio, down in 634.
to a 12. Five now advantage, Dennisheim. Winlight going to Dadis. Dadis is 12, gets behind 9 thou, gets it on the double breakout. He's 4 thou under, Mark is 9 thou under. All right, here we go. First pair of dragsters. Racing Jason Lynch, Catfish, Cars Protection Plus Dragster, left side, down 486. Skinny Kenny Underwood. Jegs Dragster, right side, down 483. to the round of four. Mean Green, Gene Lampshire, been carrying the buy run the last few rounds, gets to use it to go to the final of the dragsters. He's gonna come back and race Kenny Underwood at four cars. Gene tore it up Thursday night in the 32 car shootout. He's down to four cars in the 100K main event. Gene on a 502. He's 22 on the lead, 5034 off the 502.
right, man, I'm PJ North here with, of course, the one and only D3 announcer, Derek Beach. Hang on, my dad's calling me, Jay Hollinger. Let me get, <laughs> gotta get Jay out of my ear. Sorry, dad, Jay. but go ahead. PDRA announcer. PDRA, Pro Nitrous. Right, the best. Derek Beach, I've known Derek since he was eight years old. Probably this tall, and I got to this you tall so far. You That's were the pretty same good. Castrol GTX Junior Dragster. First the ever. The first ever with a two-step in a junior. Waba. <laughs> there it is. Waba. The, uh, the first ever announcer under the age of 13 that they allowed at Trails. Yep, which was, was just last year. Just last year. He just uh, became tall enough to ride rides at... Uh, Cedar Point. A little taller than Johnny Stanley, but that's, that's okay. That's true. He was a field jockey uh, before this, before his current yeah. profession. So, how, when did you fall in love with drag racing? Man, I started drag racing, uh, fell in love with that actually before I was eight. Okay. And uh, got on Christmas Day right. of uh, 2002, the, uh, had the junior sitting in our living room. That's the When way I to walked do it. out on Christmas morning, had the, uh, I thought John Force was there. Tell me, what's one of your craziest stories that you remember from being at the racetrack? Um, I remember back in the 70s when my dad was running in the alcohol classes and the nitro classes, there used to be a lot of, a streaking was heavy back in the 70s. Okay. I saw a couple streakers going at it, man. That was cool. <laughs>
flipped his dragster three oh times. God, I three that. times. Three times. I and I was that. right behind him, and I went right behind him, and it was the scariest, scariest, craziest moment of my life. So, I'm PJ North here with my man Ray Conley. Ray, how long have you been racing, man? Oh, about probably 20 years. 20, that's it? Yeah. Well, when was your first win? Oh, probably longer than that, yeah. When was your first win? First win was probably here. It's always in my truck, just inside my Tell me, when was your first race? My first race was probably uh, in a streetcar. Uh, at National Trail Raceway back in 1982. 82. It was the first time I ever went down a drag strip. Really support. I, I really thank you guys so no much problem, for everything, man. Mikey. Good pleasure. luck this weekend, brother. PJ Norse in the house. <laughs> And I never thought we'd be where we are um, drag racing. You know, now I'm in a stock car and I've driven super gas for people and I'm driving other cars. And I never truly realized how much I love drag racing. I don't think until I got to the point now where we're doing this thing almost for a living. Um, and I'm so happy to be here where I'm at. So without drag racing, I don't think I'd be here. So that's, that's how I know I fell in love with drag racing. Here we go, round one, 64 car shootout, T-Rock, left side, Daytona Beach, Florida. He's on a 478 dial in, Dave Marchini right side, 69 Camaro, out of Grand Rapids, Michigan, down 635. Marquini, let's go, 41, breaks it out, triple zero three, no good. The freaking Rican, Andre Nunez, left side, Cavalier, out of San Juan, Puerto Rico, down 560. Taking on Jake from State Farm. Jake in the Nova, right side, dialed in 590. Here we go, got the dial in corrected. Hodge it up, 
Seven red, Nunez, double L3. Eight thou under for the win. Hodges, seven red, carrying a little bit. No good. Jeff Cheney out of Cambridge, Minnesota, left side. Dial in 5'11", West May, 82 Buick Regal. Bay, dialed in 16 to be dead three. May is 11 total. Cheney, 008, 19 thou over, no good. Donovan Williams, left side, FTI test vehicle. Dial in 488. Keenan Connor, right side, Connor racing entry. Dial in 511. Take 15 to be 15 thou safe. Williams missed it. 51 up front, breaks it out 13 thou. No good. Neon Leon Robertson, S dime, left side, dialed 657. Joe Fritz out of Vermilion, Ohio, right side, dragster, dialed in 477. Round one is rolling. If you're in the 64 car shootout, not in the lanes, you're late. All right, here we go. Double out, double out Robertson had a thou advantage, gets down there, takes 10 thou, breaks it out 12 thou. Joe Fritz picking up the wind light. Five, three thou under, moving on. Lucas Walker, Mayfield, Kentucky. Down in triple nickels with a Mustang, left side. Brian Folk out of Duran, Illinois, 2013 American car. Folk race cars, Hoosier racing tires. Sponsor machine, dialed 460. Walker, 25 take six and dead seven, 32 total. Let Brian Fuller to work with, doesn't get it done. Randy Shire next out, left side out of Toledo, Ohio, 2018 American car. Bear Motorsports sponsor machine, 476 the dial in. Matt Murray, the GorillaMill.com S10. I don't know if that's Matt Murray or not. That's that's what's coming up. It says it's 2015 Diamond. I know better than that. I mean, I'm not the brightest bulb in the bunch, but I know that's not a dragster. Gorilla Mill S Dime, right side, down 612.
10 picking up the win. 17, 8 thou behind to be 12 thou safe. Shire, let's go 21. Takes 8 thousandths, breaks it out. Triple zero five. No good. Chris Bear on next. Left side out of Curtis, Ohio. 471 the dial in. Take it on Kevin Pollard. Baddest dude to ever sit in a love truck. Kevin, right side, swapping feet. Down 543. Left side, S10 down 559. Chris Wallen in the McIlvain car. Right side down 477. safe run off the triple zero six red Todd Burks left side out of Parrish Florida engine pro Camaro down 646 Kyle Freeze out of Omaha Nebraska Kyle's dialed in 501 24, 11 thou behind, no good. Todd Burks, 31 dead, five, and moving on. Caleb Ellison, left side, out of Beaver Creek, Ohio. Running Mikey Bloomfield's dragster, 467. Darn near won the uh, burnout contest earlier. Put up a heck of a burnout. He's taking on Brian Rockwell out of Cassopolis. 34 Chevy Roadster out 598. the scoop early. 24 take 25, 15 thou safe. Rockwell, 53, 11 thou over, no good.
Canberra Paz, left side out of Bradley, Illinois. Down in 491, Tanner Thorpe, right side. Knickerbocker, Texas native, down in 471. Paz, 12 and 2 thou behind, breaks it out, 7 thou. Get his lamp to come on on the other end. Tanner Thorpe, 22 take 2 and 18 thou under. There's still one entry remaining in the 64 car shootout. One entry remaining in the 64 car shootout. It's not too late. You want in, get it to the staging lanes, bring your money with you. Donnie Hagar, Teresa Steiner, Donnie left side, S10, off the bottom, Teresa Steiner, right side, 485. Wind light, Teresa, 19 take six and a foul under. Hagar needed to turn her loose. Hagar's 26, 3 thou under, no good. Next out, Jeff Sarah, left side. Dial in 4.58. Antoine Jett, right side. Mount Laurel, New Jersey, in the boo. Dial in 6.24. Seventeen total. Sarah is mathematically inadequate. Jet moving on. We need the semifinal round of the main event to lane five. Semifinal round of the main event to lane five. Steve Riggins doing a little bit better burnout. I said a little bit. In the roadster, left side, five seventy-eight to dial in. Scott Erickson, right side. In the Camaro, dial in five ninety. Shootout is full again. The shootout is full again. Riggins, let's go 33, and he's in charge. Wind light. Going to Steve Riggins. CJ Codge, that's how you jump in a ride and turn a wind light on. 33, take 30 to be 15,000 safe. Erickson's 54, 25 above, no good. Brett Williamson, left side, 57 Chevrolet, down 619. Got no information on the right side dragster.
Dragster picking up the win. 12, getting there, 22,000 in front to be dead on with a four. And moving on, Brett Williamson, let's go 004. And gets behind 22,000, no good. Chad Six and John D. Piazza. D. Piazza in the Camaro, taking a bit of a ride the last run. Hopefully he's got everything sorted out. 551 the dial in right side, 590 the dial in for Chad Six and the Roadster. Seven take 12 to beat dead zero. D Piazza, 34 dead five, no good. Ricky Atkins, the Bulldog, Pontiac GTO left side dialed 553. Tyler Schneider out of Westland, Michigan, 2006 American car right side, dialed in 497. Semi-final round, main event, lane five, please. Semi-final round, main event. I need you to lane five. side down 672 Chris Reynolds left side Reynolds towing machine down in five or excuse me 456 try to get a little dyslexic on you Second. Raylo, 24, 7 thou under, no good. Tyler Nelkin in the Mustang, left side, down 635. AJ Buchanan, trick flow Mustang, right side of the racetrack, down in 636. Tupper right side, wheel standing Vega, down 595. Scotty Taylor left side, out of Portage, Michigan, 2013 American car, down 452.
picking up the win light. 18 gets behind 15 to be 12 thou safe. Tupper, 34, taking 15, 19 thou under, no good. Miss me at Tedesco, left side. In the Camaro, 590 the dial in. Jason Mikula, right side. Out of Eagle, Michigan, in the boo. Down in 635. Red Squires, Chevrolet Nova, left side. I'm glad uh, I've got some backup help here. My brain has turned to mush. 6.33, the dial on left side. Says Ron Truler. It looks like Ron walking around down there. It's gotta be Austin. Austin Truler, right side, down 4.89. the other way. Austin, 13, taking 40 to be six thou under. No good. Squires, 22 up front, 25 over. Moving on. Bryson Scruggs, Cars Protection Plus, VP Racing Fuels, a bruising transmissions and a converter. Junior Dragster left side, down 476. Scott Horline, out of Freeland, Michigan, 2006 American car, down in 487. Seven. He's 16 total. Bryson Scruggs is 24 on this end. I don't even have to say it. You can all say it. You know what you know what I'm gonna say. Horn line moving on. Kirby McLennan. Kirby jumping in the slow car, running 468. Jake Hodge with the with the statistician. Can't even say statistician right. <laughs> That's all right. This is a matchup of the Thursday 20K final round. Yeah, that, you were just on the two steps saying it. It's okay. I forgot extraordinaire though. It's okay. Now I'll let that one slide once. Lee Newmeyer, right side, out of Shelby, Ohio's in the Vega, dial in 581. Neither driver wanted to go in. You know, it's not 11.30 or 11.40 at night. It's no big deal. No, Neumeyer bumped it in. Oh! <laughs> Lee Neumeyer had the car back out on him. Curry McClendon picking up the win.
Steve Messick and Sean Parker. A couple local guys doing battle. Parker, right side, winner of the burnout contest. Out of Kalamazoo, 453 the dial on Steve Messick out of Plainwell. In the Nova, dialed in four, excuse me, 693. Parker ripped it once on the way by, saw the scoop rock from here, and he wound up a foul behind. Messick, 14, dead eight, and moving on. David Davis, left side, the fleet doctor, barn find Camaro, out of Toledo, Ohio, dialed in 656. Corey Mike is right side, out of Bear Lake, Michigan. 68 Camaro, Thurbley Automotive Sponsor Machine, down in 612. Micus, Micus picking up the win, 17, and two thou behind, breaks it out, five thou, getting the win on the double breakout, Davis, 29 take two, breaks it out, 19 thou, no good. We are going to cut into the uh, 64 car shootout and move into the semifinal round of the 100K main event. from the Norwalk area right here. 634 the dial in left side. Nasty Nick Hastings. Down to four cars again, this time in a 100K race. Nationwide Auto Works, FTI, Mickey Thompson Racing Tire, Pontiac T1000. Had the 616 painted on this thing all day long. one of these two guys. Mean Green, Gene Lampton, out of Lorraine, Ohio. Lampton, Lampshire. Here we go. Gene Lampshire, out of Lorraine, Ohio. 502, the dial on left side. Taking on Skinny Kenny Underwood. The Jegs Dragster, right side, out of Delaware, Ohio. Dialed in 483. Oh my 
goodness. Oh my goodness. Lampshire. You want to say it at the same time? Lampshire is 17 total, taking 282. Gene Lampshire, 12 dead, 5. Getting there, geez, 282 thousandths let's, ahead. Let's Riggins that. That's three super Walmarts in front at the finish line. At least. For Kenny Underwood. And it was on the hose at one point. No, 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 not one point. Like at the, point the, one, he was on the hose. At point one, he was on the hose trying to get there and trying to push him out. It came close to working. But that sets up Nasty Nick Hastings and Gene Lampshire in the final round for $100,000. And that means Nasty Nick is going to have lane choice in the final round for All right, we're going to get back into this round one of the 64 car shootout. Will Holloman, right side. Where's Steve Riggins when I need him? Down in 445. Chris Plott, running Shelby Walker's Mustang. Left side, down 581. Fasano out of Salem, Wisconsin. Left side in the dragster, 493 the dial in, taking on Tim Prim. Prim out of Plainwell, 1970 Cuda, dial in 605. I, I gotta do a quick shout out because it is entirely way past this bedtime, but shout out Easton Hodge, East the Beast. Going to bed, he went to watch the Derby tonight. So Weston's going to bed. Good night, Weston. We'll see him in Rockingham. Fasano. Fasano, 008, take 13 to be 13 thou safe. Tim Prim, 9 and 26 thou over, no good. Chris Stein, Silver Lake, Indiana, 2016 diamond car. Stein tired diamond race cars machine, dialed in 453. Seth Phillips, right side, Mountain Road Transmissions S dime, dialed in 580.
Stein. Hey, Stein, Tim. Double Tim. 09, dead one. 10 total. Phillips, one taking 27 and 19 thou under. No good. Tim Vincent, Tim Vincent, if you want the last spot in the shootout, we need you right now. Right now, right now, right now. Tim Vincent. Tim Vincent, we need you right now if you want the last spot in the shootout. T-Rock, Troy Williams, Daytona Beach, Florida, left side. Down 477. Catfish, racing Jason Lynch, bringing up the S-Dime, dialed in 588. 17 to a 15. Both of them wearing out the return springs. Lynch goes down there, 17 takes six, breaks it out four thou. Needs to take two or less. Vincent. Williams, 15, dead five, and Jake Hodges walking all over me. So if you got your dragster fixed, I think it was Tim Vincent. We need you to the staging lanes right now. 31 pairs have been down. We had one guy pull off. So Tim Vincent to the staging lanes right now if you want the last spot in the shootout. We'll give Tim just a couple seconds, but uh, anybody else out there that wants a shot in it, bring 250 to the staging lanes. How about that? Shout out window open just for a second. Bank shift Chad, one of the coolest dudes in the business. So you have about a minute to get to the staging lanes. $250. We need one more race car. We won't tell you who you're racing until you get here because that's not important. So if you just got, I think it was Tim Vincent, they just got his car fixed and wanted in the shootout. We need you to these staging lanes immediately. So Gene Lampshire, Nasty Nick Hastings, lane number five, the final round for $100,000 back to lane number five, and we are about to roll our 64-car shootout that is right now at 63 cars. Not relevant, but if you want to go down the racetrack in the 64-car shootout, you are uh, late. We need you right back immediately. Final round, final round to the stating lanes, lane number five, lane number five.
Shootout, shootout, round number two of the shootout back to one and two. Shootout back to one and two. Shootout, shootout, back to lanes one and two. Antoine Jett, you are in the wrong lane, sir. Hey, hey, Mitchell Clary, can you let him go, please? Hey, hey Mr. Clary, can you let go of him? We need him. Please just, just let go of the stranglehold you have of Kyle. Thank you. Shoot out, shoot out. Back two lanes, one and two. Uno and dos. For, well, Chris Wallen, he, he didn't make it through. Too much monster. Shoot out, two lanes, one and two. Shoot out. Finalist, $100,000 final to the staging lanes. Lane number five. All right, here we go, last pair. Round one of the 64 car shootout. Gonna be Antoine Jett, Kenny Underwood. $100,000 final round to the staging lanes. Lane number five. Antoine Jett, right side, Mount Laurel, New Jersey, 78 Malibu, down 674. Skinny Kenny Underwood, Jegs, FTI, 92 Firebird, down 603. Take 11 and dead seven. 16 pack leaves a two thou window for Underwood to try to sneak inside of. He's 14 up front, 13 thou over, no good. Round two shootout, round two shootout, lanes one and two. Round two shootout, lanes one and two. Main event final, lane number five. Main event final, we need you to lane five.
can't drive and you All right, here we go. Round two of the shootout. Fred Squires, right side. Chevrolet Noah, 635. Tyler Nelkin. Mustang, left side, also down 635. side picking up the win 636 9 off the 635 11 up front taking 11 Nelkin 23 19th out over no good they, so I'm pretty sure that is uh Gary Williams and he missed the memo and the burnout contest was in the time shot Gary Williams, left side, 477 the dial in. West May, 82 Buick Regal, right side, dialed in, 653. In the Cavalier, 559 the dial in, taking on Tyler Schneider. Right side of the racetrack, dialed in 496. Walker, Mustang out of Mayfield, Kentucky, dial in 555. Teresa Steiner, right side, in the dragster, dial in 483. to the center line trying to get something done at the other end he's 53 up front dead four no good Teresa Steiner six take 12 and four safe moving on Noah Rambo right side down 475 Caleb Ellison Left side of the racetrack, down 468. Sixteen 
take 11 to beat dead six. 22 pack. Rambo is 38. You can figure it out. Scotty Taylor, left side, 452 the dial in. Joe Fritz, right side of the racetrack, down 477. This has all the fixes just to be flat ugly. Joe Freitz, as you would say. It's late. It is late. It was early when I said that, though. Seven dead four. Scotty Taylor lost the lost the ripping game on the other end. He's 10, 12 thou over and down a few mile an hour for the loss. Joe Fritz moving on. All right, I know who's coming up next just by the warning from the starter. Hey, he did a straight burnout. Steve Riggs. Team, team dry hop. Team dry hop. That only counts in a final. As, as, as Papa Denny down there is just shaking his head, like what have I got myself into? Riggins in the Roadster. The third time he sat in a Roadster. Dial in 577. Yeah. yeah, he had to minimize the burnout just so the uh, the burnout crew wouldn't quit and, and go home for their fear of their lives. Keenan Connor, right side, out of Kalamazoo, Michigan, dial in 512. <laughs> 14 to a 10. Riggins looking over his shoulder, gets down there, hogs it up. Riggins, 14, take 32, and 34 thou under. Well, he wasn't even in the race. Keenan Connor, 10, dead two, making Riggins mathematically ineligible. So, side note, put a little asterisk by that one, that time slip. Little burnout, car is picking up. Burnout through the uh, center of the racetrack, run over the leaf blower, hit the divider, and then stage, car's going dead on. <laughs> note to self. In, in, case, in case you were wondering, write that all in the logbook. Eric Pavich, left side, S10, 560, Jason Mikula, right side in the Malibu, down 630. Seven take nine, two safe with a fourth, the other end. Jason Mikula moving on. Chris Reynolds, left side. Reynolds towing. 456 to dial in. Scott Hornline, right side, down 487. Todd Burks, Camaro, left side, down 646. Gorilla Mill S10, right side, down 613. Triple zero eight red, right side. Todd Burks moving on. Let's go. 29 runs it down through 9,000. 
Ranger. Canberra Paz, left side, in the dragster, dialed in 490. Antoine Jett, Malibu, runner up in the shootout last night. Mount Laurel, New Jersey native, dialed in 674. Going to Rapaz. 14 takes seven and dead four. He's 18 total. Antoine Jet 20 up front, dead five. Not going to happen. So, switching gears once again, we're going to the $100,000 final. And Mean Green Gene Lampshire. That's right. A couple Ohio guys. It's been an Ohio weekend for sure. All four semifinalists were from Ohio. Yeah, uh, the four of five at Thursday in the quarterfinal, four of them were from Norwalk. Like, literally race at Norwalk every week. My goodness. And, I, and this is just another time shot for Gene Lampshire. I about guarantee it. That thing has been 502 more times than I've been uh, in a losing lane. And you've had flat tires? Yeah, there you go. How about that? So Lampshire, Lorraine, Ohio left side, the 96 ART car with a 520 inch Ford engine in it. How is that for abstract? Nick Hastings, Nasty Nick, Shelby, Ohio right side, FTI, Mickey Thompson, Nationwide Auto Work. Pontiac T1000. Thank you for the shout out, but it has been mostly Justin and Steve today. Two awesome announcers. I just won't say that too often. Here we go. Flat, nasty. Right now, separate them. Win light, nasty. Nick Hastings, 13 dead, four, 17 pack. 14 and 21 above for Gene. 13 dead for 17 total gets it done for a hundred thousand dollars. Nasty Nick, I told you guys earlier yesterday he was heating up and he was gonna be trouble this weekend and he cashed in right there for a hundred thousand dollars. And yeah, splits happened, but uh, there was a whole lot left right there. Buy cars. Awesome showing for Gene Lampshire. So JAMA Racing Ministries Chapel Service, 8.30 sharp. Wanamaker is going to bed. He will be there. Chaplain Mark Walter here on the grounds to do the chapel service right over here next to the flagpoles in the pit side grandstand, Section A. 8.30 a.m. chapel service.
two of the shootout. Chris Stein, left side, Silver Lake, Indiana, the Stein, Tyron Auto, Diamond race car. Blower car, they call him Womp. You'll know when he does it. Corey Micah's right side, Bear Lake, Michigan. The 68 Camaro. We're back to going drag racing, that's right. No more downtime. As your $100,000 race winner comes back across the return road, shout out Nasty Nick Hastings. something. That's right. So anyway, Chris Stein, 133 up front, takes 35 to be 36 above. That, uh, that's special. Steve Messick, left side, playing well, Michigan, and Willie Wood. Will Hallman, right side, four Oaks, North Carolina, the Wells Towing American Car. Will is towing deep out in front, and turns on the lamp. 11 dead five. That's one thou worse than his last package. 16 total for Will Holloman. Chris Bear, left side, Curtis, Ohio, the Bear Motorsports entry, and Antoine Jet, Twan from Mount Laurel, New Jersey. Double 06 and 5 thou under left side for Bear Twan is 11, takes 7, and does not do it. Kirby McLennan left side. Temperance Michigan and Chad Six, Palmer Michigan right side in the May race carbs ropes are no longer a pro systems ride. Chris Simmons, Chris Simmons, if you're in the winner's if you're not in the winner's circle, we need you there, please. Chris Simmons. Kirby McLennan taking the win. Goes under by 11, taking 004, 14 up front. Believe this is your.
believe this is your final pair of the shootout for round number two. Left side, Troy Williams, Daytona Beach, Florida. Dialed, oh, sorry, Gary Williams, dialed in 478. Right side, out of Salem, Wisconsin, Ryan Fazano, dialed in 494. Separate them up front. Hey, Mark. Troy takes eight thou to be four thou under. Ryan on the right side with the win. Three thou under, 93 on the 94 dial, 19 up front for the win. Customer service and technical support second to none. FTI Performance Converters and Transmissions give you the winning edge. Just ask any of our customers, like 2014 IHRA Top Dragster World Champion Kevin Brannon, or the 2014 IHRA Super Rod World Champion Mike Roth. We are real racers with real experience. Call us today at toll free at 866-726-8358 or visit us on the web at www.fdiperformance.com. So, Nasty Nick Hastings, come see me, buddy. I got something for you. Dry it up. $100,000. The ink's still wet. Don't even mess it up. It's okay. still wet. You got the Dumper Trophy? $300 Penske Racing Shocks. I put everybody on notice yesterday. You were getting hot, and you're finally grooving, and you found it. The biggest win of your career? You let the 250 slip away from you? How about that? 
I did, I did, but uh, for sure you said it best. <laughs> it's uh, it's awesome. Oh. So you, you've been firing the T-1000 all year, and I think you're finally happy where it's at. It's leaving out nice. It's it's pretty nasty. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Uh, brought it a long way quick. We dumped a new motor in it, and uh, it, it turned out to work awesome with a couple adjustments here and there. But, uh, you know, fortunately, I got Mickey Thompson on board. I got FTI, Nationwide Auto Works, Trick Flow, Harlan Sharp, In Motion Solutions, Weisco, Biddle, Quick Draw, Finish Line Race Fuels, and I also got to thank all my friends, all my family, and my fellow competitors. I couldn't have been in the final with a, a cooler dude, a much nicer dude. He's been, uh, he's been good to me for years. So he's a supporter of everyone. And uh, uh, same with everybody here. SFG giving us an opportunity that we really, I mean, couldn't ask much more. I mean, uh, it's a great opportunity for us to compete on a level like this for what we are racing for. Uh, US 131 for giving us a great place to do it at. And uh, that's, that's about it. Yeah, you mentioned Matt Addis. That lap in the final of the door car was flat nasty. It really was, and I mean it when I say it could have gone either way at any time. Um, that was uh, We were both on the same page, I, I do believe, and I lucked out in the end because he did have me fourth out on the tree. And, and I know you're about to say before I cut you off, Mama's up and she's watching. Uh, that's pretty cool. Like I said, my friends and my family, they, they, uh, they're they the only reason I can do this and, and keep going, and, and, and without them, you know, like I said, I wouldn't be where I'm at, so... Yep, and you travel the world with Jose, and how cool is it to have the weekend you guys have had so far? Uh, it, it's way cool. As a matter of fact, it still hasn't really sank in. It might take a while. <laughs> I can help you if you need me to. We go to the casino later. So your $100,000 race winner, Nasty Nick Hastings. Thank you. Okay, hold on, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, we're not done yet. One, one more thing that gets overlooked, too, that I'd really like to throw in there, uh, and I, I've kicked myself a few times for this, for leaving them out, but Motor Mania TV, one of the, <laughs> hey, one of the coolest things I think that's happened to our sport, in, in all honesty, I mean, it's the, it's the, it's exposure that we didn't have before, and people can watch from wherever they are, and um, like I said, it, it, it's, it's a big deal, and uh, it's pretty neat. And if you uh, if you don't think the chat bleacher doesn't notice when Nick Hastings on the starting line, you're sadly mistaken because they're all pulling for you. <laughs> I appreciate that. I mean that when I say it. Nasty Nick Hastings, once again, your $100,000 race winner. Round three of the shootout. Round three of the shootout to lanes one and two. Andre, don't tell me to call. You beat me earlier, so don't worry about you. Round three of the shootout in lanes one and two.
Round number three, shootout, one and two. Round number three of the shootout to lanes one and two. So, the $100,000 runner-up brought to you by TFC Transportation <laughs> brought the check to you here in the winner's circle. How about that? Mean Green Gene Lampshire, $100 off Penske Racing Shocks, and a runner-up check for $100,000. Well, I guess because it's Nick, I have no choice but take the runner-up check, right? Hey, I just want to thank uh, SFG. I want to thank US 131, Motormania TV. I got friends that, you know, just watching right now. I hope they're still up watching, but just what a pleasure to race in this organization. Uh, the track is beautiful. The, tra the, the facility is, is, is nice. The track's smooth. Uh, SFG, man, I can't thank you guys enough. It's an amazing program you have. Uh, it's something that is brand new to drag racing, and I hope it's long term. Okay? Now, before I give the microphone back to you, are you driving this tomorrow? <laughs> I mean, I can't pass it up, can I? Nope. <laughs> Here, do you value your race car? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I value my race car, but... Uh, it's a bad idea. <laughs> it's a bad idea? <laughs> Who come up with the mathematically ineligible? Is that yours? Uh, I don't know. I stole it from somebody. Use it. Don't stop. Don't let these guys stop you. But you tell Jay Gilman that. How about that? Okay. So TFC Transportation, who else makes this thing happen? I know your wife's a big part of it. And it's got to be awesome to be here with your family. Uh, it, it's beautiful. As I said, Thursday night, my partner, Carl Baker, uh, he spit a couple of rods out of his Hemi Ford Dragster Friday night in Norwalk, so he can't be here. So he's down at Kazi shop right now fixing that. And he's usually with me, but I got the best crew you guys I could ask for this week, uh, my wife, Mickey. And, you know, I just want to thank the Lord. Uh, as I said Thursday, this is a pleasure to do this, but it's, it's just a hobby. And none of us want to go away, but, you know, life is, is more than this, and I thank the Lord I can do it. Uh, Jesus, my Lord, I, I thank the, the friends I've got here, the, 
the, the young friends, the old friend, it's just, it's just so beautiful. And my company, TFC Transportation, uh, you know, my son's running it so I can be out here usually wasting money, but this weekend I didn't. <laughs> just one more question. Is the dial-in board broke? I haven't seen it come off 502 since you unloaded it out of the trailer Wednesday night. Well, Carl's always told me that Carl will win more races than you ever will, and I kind of <laughs> believe that. So, no, it, it was 502 all day today, and the buy it spun the tires, and then the final it got a little loose at the other end. I mean, Nick had a great pack, because I probably couldn't get inside him anyways. But, yeah, I mean, I could just paint 502 on there. Absolutely. It was double O pack, like three rounds in a row. Your $100,000 runner-up, nothing to hang your head about, Mean Green Gene Lampshire. Thank you. What? Oh, that's on. It's on. And by the way, Jake is driving one of my entries tomorrow. So look for him. If, if it's a good pass, I hope it's Jake. <laughs> I'm just going to leave Gene's name on it. So. And you guys can turn the wire. Oh, no. Uh, Austin Truler, Austin Truler, if you are still here, the all-star raffle in the winter circle. Austin Truler, all-star raffle in the winter circle. If you are still here, please hurry. Carly, where's he at? So our, uh, we need somebody short. Here we go, Morgan. Here we go. Their all-star performance, $100 day. We got to draw two tonight, right? Because uh, we had one that has not been claimed in two days. We're drawing two of them. So all-stars giving away a $100 gift certificate just for free. Random draw if you draw Lee's name. Okay. Mike Illig. Mike Illig, your winner. $100 courtesy of all-star performance. Don't mind uh, Mr. Maddie in the background. Not important. One more, she can still see that, a little bit higher. She can't reach very, there we go. One more all-star performance gift certificate, Ray Lowe Riley. How about that? Uncle Ray Lowe, picking up $100 courtesy of all-star performance. Thank you to the Trulers, Lane Automotive, and all-star performance. And that's it. Uh, go on picture in picture, just don't tell them that. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Your pit neighbor winning $100 courtesy of all-star performance.
left side though, Reynolds towing undercover. And Fred Squires right side, then Nova. right here. Caleb Ellison driving Lil Mikey's ride and Wes May. Wesley, Greentown, Indiana, May race carbs, Olean Shocks, FTI performance. Double O2, red, no good, one under. 27 for West May and three thou under. Andre Nunez, San Juan, Puerto Rico, the freaking, freaking left side. And Teresa Steiner, both of them are about. Andre's home just a little further away. Something happened to Teresa's car, 36 and 122 above. 60 take 96. For the Mickey Thompson Cavalier left side to be 63 total. Kirby McClendon left side. Temperance, Michigan, and Joe Briggs. Joe from Vermilion, Ohio, right side. And the Max Cheryl Mickey Thompson race cars entry. Seventeen total for Joe Fritz. Kirby McLennan at 31. He's mathematically ineligible. Dead on five. Jay's asleep, so it, I get away with it. His eyes were closed. Going night night. As should we all. Jason Peterson would definitely agree. He's in a great mood. Chris Bear, left side. Curtis Ohio with the Bear Motorsports. Mickey Thompson entry and Ryan Fasano. Salem, Wisconsin, right side, in the American car. 